Hi! Today I will go to build this Udroid kit that I got donated by Jono Scott. Thank you for that. Um, I didn't have time until now uh, to do this, but uh, it's not very complicated and there is not much soldering, I think, if any at all. And let's take a look at the contents of the package in here. So we have here game emulators. So we have NES, Game Boy and Game Boy Color controls, then Sega Master System and Game Gear controls. Well, wow, cool. So a lot of emulators. I don't know much about the Odroid, but uh, this really fits uh, my content, I would say, since I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm loving to creating game consoles or something like that. So this is the display. It doesn't have a crack, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, everything could happen during shipping, you know. So, some screws. So, these are the buttons. Some nice injection molding. <clears throat> I don't know anything about this project. So, where does. Oh, interesting. So, we have a, a specific pattern. That you use the right button to the right uh, place here. Uh, look at this, the attention to detail. So there is a specific pattern to put the buttons in, as well as uh, this one here, the D pad. Let's take a look at the main board. It doesn't look very complicated. We have um, for the buttons here, an LED, and then yeah, everything is done on um, the USB 32 Rover module here. Then we have um, Silicon Labs a USB. So this is the probably some of the charging circuit. TFT is controlled directly by the ESP on off switch um, then we have a speaker driver here that's interesting i'm currently trying to design an audio amplifier circuit myself and it would be interesting what uh, kind of ic is used here uh, let me take a look p8304 and there is nothing much else to do here. So this is a pin header that you can use probably to interface the device somehow, GPIOs, uh, something like that. So this is extra. Interesting, never saw pin headers like this to interconnect two female headers. Okay, let's put in the speaker. So the display will probably go like that. It's a cool kit uh, to assemble. You avoid uh, some certification stuff and so on um, because it's a kit. So you're just selling parts. Is this to glue on the display? No, the, ah, this, this is the... Um, here the clear plastic that goes on here. Okay, cool. This the adhesive has a little bit came a little bit off, but I think that's that's not a problem. So like this. Okay. So what is oh uh, what is the the order to do this properly here. Not sure if I have to connect the battery right now. Let's try to switch it on already. 
Something happens. Oh no. The display might be somehow. Let's see what's what's happening here. Oh no. Yeah that <laughs> they fooled me with this a strip here on at the display. No SD card. Uh Is this the SD card holder? Yes, it is. Interesting. Okay, cool. So I have to put on a SD card, maybe a ROM or something. And let's see if I can assign all this without any further instructions from the webs. Careful about this one here, I think. Where does it how how does it go? We'll just put gently the TFT in, but this plastic uh, retentions are quite stiff. Okay, let me check that. Ah! I lost everything again. So I have to put this in here. Oh yeah. Okay. I think that's great. The battery goes here probably. No. I will turn the battery around. I have the cable out of the way. Like that. Okay, I'm not sure how the speaker is holding place. I didn't see any adhesive or something. That's it should work. Okay. Okay, the speakers hold in place by the back case. Okay. Okay, so I will just grab an SD card. I think here wasn't there is no one no no SD card included or at least if it was, I lost it already. Uh, I don't see it. So, oops. I will grab an SD card and uh, try what's written here. See you in a few minutes. An SD card with some ROMs, a Game Boy and a Nintendo Entertainment System. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, cool. And let's try this. Why should I restart? Yes. Start. One oh, yeah. Oh, that's super loud. I love shooters like that. Oh. Okay, start. Oh, yeah, there's some jitter. I don't know what the problem is. Yeah. Oh, 
nothing in there. Ah! Doop, doop, doop. Okay. How do I reset it? Okay, somehow it resets. <laughs> um, let's try Game Boy. Oh, I got Tetris there. <laughs> Is there any sound? Oh yeah. Oh, this the sound emulation is not very good on this one. Ah, but the game feels authentic. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, cool. So, John L. Scott, thank you for the donation for this uh, droid thingy. Um, it's uh, really well made. Yeah. I, hopefully I can do something like that in future. I would love to design a console. Okay, that's all for today and see you next time. Bye.